Today we're cooking some goat neck meat. Here we are. Silver nail farm, goat neck. That's what we're doing right now. You wanna make sure that you dry these really well because you're going to sear them and we want the meat to be as dry as possible. Season them, sear them, and then we're gonna braise them for like at least three hours. I'm using this little bit of oil. This is avocado oil that I used for frying leeks. So it's got a little bit of uh, onion flavor to it. Here we go. If you don't think that it's okay to torture animals, to treat animals like shit just because we need meat, then what we should do is we should support local ranchers, people that are taking care of these animals uh, properly. So they're animals that were happy animals. And the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to meat lace it with a little bit of this wine. It's one of the best white wines from Oregon that you will ever, ever drink. I do recommend it. You don't want to do too much liquid. What we're trying to do here, actually, is we want the meat to cook in its own juices. So the wine is just there to deglaze and to keep a level of humidity as we cover it and put it in the oven for about three hours at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's about as much as you want right there. These are onions that my wife grew. These are the carrots that we pulled out of the garden today. They're still full of dirt. I haven't even cleaned them, but that's it. Beautiful carrots. Okay, so now it's time to clean these onions. While I do that, I'm listening to Chef Therapy Podcast. Check it out. Looks just like this. Chef Therapy Podcast, highly recommend it. Okay, the biggest reason why you should cook at home is because you are directly making the world better for a lot of reasons. One, because you are choosing high quality ingredients. That makes all the difference. But two, because you are cooking for your family and you're cooking for yourself. So there's something about the act of putting love into what you're eating that sounds woo-woo and hippie, and, and maybe it is. And trust me, I really don't like woo-woo things. I'm kind of allergic to stuff like that, but I love the idea of putting some love into the food that you're making because I do honestly believe that you can taste it, and I do think that it actually makes a difference because this stuff that you're putting in your body is now going to turn into you. You're actually sucking up all the nutrients and those are going to turn into your cells and to you physically, biologically, you become what you eat. So cooking at home is the way to go for every reason. Oh, it should be really good. So, look at that. Oh, looks pretty nice. Woo, and it smells insane. All right, so, a little bit of onions from my garden in there, boom. Now these carrots, beautiful carrots. I don't even have to cut them. I'm gonna go all over that. And then lastly, I'm gonna add a couple of sprigs of rosemary that I just got from the garden. That's really all it needs. It's super basic, but it's pretty yummy. I mean, look how beautiful that looks. That's pretty damn sexy. Look at that. Ooh, Ooh baby, that's delicious. Oh. 
has been now three hours. So our goat neck should be ready to go. it is so late right now I am going to be saving this for tomorrow because all of a sudden it got really late okay so now it's the next day uh, this has been a pretty weird couple of days but here is what we have. This is what we cooked last night. So the necks, goat necks are ready to go. Carrots, everything is cooked. So now I'm going to cook some noodles and then I'm gonna fold this into some noodles, add some olive oil and some of these beautiful uh, fresh arugula clippings. And then that's it. So let's do this. Always when you're cooking pasta, you should season the water. go pretty heavy on it. it makes a big difference all right look at how insanely beautiful this is right here I don't know if you can tell probably not from that angle but hopefully from this overhead look at this Jesus oh my god look at that you see that oh Baby, that is a beauty. Mm. Damn, that's good. Noodles right here, boom. Again, check this out. Oh, that's some good noodle. Good noodle the best man this is not some bullshit noodles that I got from the store this is a beautiful noodle that came from a place near where I live and I know for a fact that they actually love the soil that they grow things on in on whatever and that makes me really happy to know that I'm supporting a, a place that uh, took care of the land, so it's going to taste that much better. So I think I'm gonna cook the whole bag. Let's do it. Because trust me, this stuff is gonna be mm, the best. I'm gonna do a fair amount of olive oil in here. Now I'm gonna fold in this beautiful stuff. Yes, started on a 50 mil lens. So now look how insanely amazing that looks. We're gonna go kind of heavy on this. Oh my god, that's the best. The best thing ever. It's so simple, but so fucking good. Hey kiddos. Okay, now we're serving. We did it. Mm. Simple, homemade deliciousness. Alright everybody. Dinner is served. If we're going to make the world a better place the only way to do that is by supporting those that are doing things the right way <laughs>